fantastic. Uh, he comes here. You know, I, I said I said New York on the thing, but you know what? He's from New York, but the man travels all over the place. He's done embedded. He's done in, embedded journalism and all sorts of great stuff, man. The dude is incredible. One of my favorite comics in the country. Uh, you may have seen him in the uh, seen him on the uh, CNN and Comedy Store roast battle, ladies and gentlemen. Put your dick skinners together for my dance, ladies and gentlemen. Sure you want to know? Yeah. The story of my life is not for the faint of heart. If someone told you it was a happy tale, if someone told you that I'm just your average guy, not a care in the world, somebody lied. Um, that's not a joke, it's just the opening lines to Sam Raimi's Spider-Man. <laughs> uh, but, but really, who am I, right? Um, I'm Mike Gams. Um, People have called me uh, a lot of things in my life. Um, a comedian, an activist, a journalist, um, an uh, Antifa agitator, <laughs> a known leftist thug, uh, a bisexual extremist, um, and even a religious extremist on the level of radical jihadist. Uh, which I was called by the Department of Homeland Security for the time that I spent in Standing Rock, North Dakota. Wow. Uh, yeah, I've been called a lot of things, um, but everything I've been called uh, pales in comparison to what I've been called by other comedians. Uh, <laughs> like, here's some actual quotes from some other like comedians I've done shows with. Uh, this guy, Mike Paramore from Ohio, he once said that I looked like an asexual pod person sent here from the future by Caitlyn Jenner to destroy us all. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this comic, uh, Benjamin Hoffman from New Orleans, uh, he once said that I look like if Lisa Frank had a brother that was really into bath salts. <laughs> Royden from Washington D.C. said that um, I look like the burning or the librarian at Burning Man. <laughs> uh, but like the funniest thing anyone's ever said to me is when I did the uh, the roast battle at the comedy store in Los Angeles. Um, my friend Fizza Dasani, she said, Mike Gams looks like the kind of guy that would suck a dick for a bag of coke and then forget about the coke. <laughs> Forget about the coke. Right? <laughs> um, an interesting thing is uh, when I did the comedy store roast battle, one of the judges was uh, Jeff Ross, and uh, Jeff Ross said that I looked like gay Spider-Man, <laughs> um, which was really interesting because I wasn't even dressed like Spider-Man. Uh, uh, what's also interesting is um, Jeff Ross said that I like looked like the kind of person that like wasn't allowed near a playground. <laughs> <laughs> That's like especially interesting now um, because this summer uh, Jeff Ross was outed as a sexual predator who grooms underage girls. Uh, so it's like, yeah, uh, um, but like, uh, yeah, if you've ever seen this like fucking hobgoblin, you'd know that's the only grooming he's ever done. <laughs> uh, but enough about that prowler. Um, uh, uh, he's not the only person that's like uh, called me Spider-Man. Um, the very reputable, established, and certainly not fake news outlet known as MAGA Media Online <laughs> referred to me as Antifa Soy Boy Spider-Man. <laughs> um, and what's interesting about that is it was uh, after I made an appearance at a KKK rally. <laughs> okay, let me back up. <laughs> um, so the KKK is a white supremacist hate group. Oh, started up, oh okay, not that far back. Not that far back. Okay. Um, so, okay. Let's pick this up here. Um, I've been like a touring stand-up comedian for over 10 years, touring around the country, right? 
And I've been uh, lucky enough um, to build a platform where I have the power to reach a lot of people, right? Um, and it's like my uncle once told me, um, with great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> um, so I feel that uh, with this great power, I have a responsibility to expose, mock, and confront white supremacists and other bigots, right? Yeah. And that includes the KKK, right? So there's a group of actual KKK members in Madison, Indiana, called the Honorable Sacred Knights of the KKK. Wow. <laughs> like, like, okay. <laughs> um, and these fuckers like to try to throw rallies, right? You've probably seen it on the news that these fucking white supremacist groups throw rallies around the country and shit. Well, this particular group um, like to try to throw rallies in Madison, Indiana, which is, you know, just north of uh, Kentucky. And they tried to throw a Ku Klux cookout on Memorial Day. Right? Uh, so me and a bunch of my amazing friends uh, decided to not let that happen, right? So they like were planning to show up at a park and, and throw some cookout. So we got there early in the morning and just occupied the park before they got there, right? Um, uh, but eventually, like, about a fucking half dozen of them show up to the fucking park. Uh, to do their rally or whatever and like this fucking sinister six show up with a medium pizza for like their whole fucking cookout uh, and it's like what the fuck right uh, and so like these fucking goblin looking motherfuckers start spitting their venom or whatever um, alright uh, and by like venom I mean like the most pathetic like insults you could possibly think of he's like Get a job! Well, I've not heard that one before. Uh, and um, me, like, never missing an opportunity to try to get, like, a fucking white supremacist to tell on himself. I'm like, oh, where do you work? Uh, and he says, I work for your mom. <laughs> good one, good one. Uh, and I'm like, look, my mom may not be Aunt May, but, like, she's not hiring a fucking Nazi. Uh, and he says, without missing a beat, he's like, I'm not a Nazi, I'm a Klansman. Uh, I'm not a Nazi, I'm a Klansman. <laughs> Meanwhile, like, these motherfuckers showed up with more flags than people. Like, there's fucking a KKK flag, a Confederate flag, a fucking Trump flag, um, fucking a Nazi flag, and I'm like, Man, I have never seen a group of people that liked rooting for losers so much in my life, and I'm a fucking <laughs> Buffalo Bills fan! Uh, but yeah, he's like, I'm not a Nazi, I'm a Klansman. Uh, and I'm like, you're fucking, you have a fucking Nazi flag right there! You're a fucking Nazi! And he's like, yeah, well, who are you? And I'm just like, I'm Spider-Man, motherfucker! <laughs> 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 Like, the, the funniest thing, like, about this whole thing is, like, if their little fucking cookout lasted less than 10 minutes before they just, like, peel the fuck out of there, like, the losers that they are, right? But CNN covered this story. Um, so, like, I'm on CNN, uh, and they do, like, a close-up of me, and they say, um, Mike Gams, a self-described anti-fascist from New York, showed up just like Spider-Man, you know? Like, <laughs> and there's a, a video of me, like, leaning against a rock, like, smoking a cigarette, like, fucking throwing my hair in the wind. Uh, and then they do, like, a close-up shot of me, right? And I'm just like, um, you could bet your ass, uh, if they try to do this again, Spider-Man and his amazing friends will show up again. <laughs> and that's on fucking CNN! That's all awesome. of things, right? Um, and the, uh, uh, another interesting thing about that is, like, the story on CNN, um, it was, like, retweeted by the actor Vincent D'Onofrio. Uh, if you're familiar with Vincent D'Onofrio, he's in, like, Full Metal Jacket, and he played, like, the Kingpin in Marvel's Daredevil or whatever. But, like, I'm just, like, super worried about this because, like, the fucking Kingpin knows I'm Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
like, fucking the Kingpin wasn't, like, the only supervillain that, um, like, wanted to talk about this after. The fucking aforementioned, uh, Sinister Six that, uh, showed up for their little cookout got real big mad that we disrupted their rally. Um, and one of them posted on their private, uh, like, Discord channel or whatever, they were like, we need to find faggot ass Spider Man and his Justice League of Queers. <laughs> I am the worst enemy. Uh, so I decided to found a group called the Justice League of Queers. <laughs> yeah! Uh, because, like, um, yeah, like, just reclaim anything that these fucking idiots throw at us, right? So. We started a group that's a legitimate group called the Justice League of Queers, which is like a collection of like queer anti-fascist superheroes or whatever all over the country. Um, and like what we do is we expose, mock, and fucking confront white supremacists and other bigots, right? Um, yeah. And like a lot of people, um, like I'm from the uh, I'm from New York, and a lot of people like to have this impression where they're like. All the racists are in the South, right? And it's like, nah, I don't fucking think so. There's a lot of fucking this shit in, in the North, too, right? And so there's a lot of different, like, hate groups. You've uh, probably heard of some of them, like, the, there's the KKK, right? There's the, the Proud Boys. You might have heard of them. There's the Three Percenters. Um, there's Patriot Prayer. There's the Republican Party. <laughs> the Democratic Party. Uh, uh, and there's also a group based out of New England, of all places, called American Guard, right? And the American Guard are perhaps most known for trying and failing to throw the straight pride parade. <laughs> about this. But they tried to throw a straight pride parade in Boston. And it just seemed a little redundant because I'm pretty sure there's a straight pride parade in Boston every time the Patriots win the Super Bowl. <laughs> uh, but like this group um, from New England American Guard, um, one of their master evil plans was to show up at the Boston Women's March and try to cause a bunch of carnage. Uh, yeah, Spider-Man jokes are just gonna keep coming, right? Uh, so, like, this like group of fucking like meatheads and battle helmets and body armor like showed up to the women's march to try to like disrupt shit, right? Uh, but what they didn't expect was Spider-Man and his amazing friends were there too, right? Uh, and one of these guys literally had a SS like Nazi special forces tattoo on his neck, right? And like the, the best way to describe this guy is that he looked like the rhino, but his like ideology was like Red Skull. Uh, yeah. Red Skull's a Nazi too, so there's that. But like, um, so just like every other fucking white supremacist I've ever met, um, these like snowflakes are especially triggered about how tight my pants are like, all the time. Uh, like one good line, he was like, um, uh, Lulu Lemon called and they want their tights back. <laughs> All right, and I was like, well, 1930s called and they want their ideology back. <laughs> uh, and they like didn't know, uh, like, what do they, they, oh, their response was, um, suck my dick, faggot Spider Man. <laughs> like, I love sucking dick, but I'm not sucking yours. You know? <laughs> um, and like, they didn't know how to respond to the fact that, like, they couldn't just tell me to suck a dick as an insult, right? <laughs> um, so, I shit you not, a group of fucking low-level henchmen for an actual supervillain were huddled up talking about, we need to do something about Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> Spider-Man. Uh, and it's like, I, I just like, never thought that like my life would be like Pleasantville, but Spider-Man 2. <laughs> and the question is just like, Toby or not Toby? <laughs> Alright, um, I don't want to talk about Nazis anymore, because like, I talk about Nazis a lot, and fuck Nazis, like, let's just say that for the record, like, punch a Nazi, I'm cool with that. But, I want to, um, like, uh, before I was Spider-Man, uh, I was just a, a, a wee lad and grew up in uh, upstate New York. Right, and um, the thing about like 
uh, upstate New York is that it's like super like diehard Buffalo Bills football country. You might have heard me mention the, the Bills earlier, right? And I know it's like hard to tell by looking at me and my Antifa soy boy ass up here, but like I'm actually like a diehard Buffalo Bills football fan. Uh, I used to be like a season ticket holder to the Bills back in the day. And before like the pandemic, I used to, um, when I would travel around the country doing comedy, I'd go to like different Buffalo Bills backers bars like every week to like watch the Bills play. Uh, like the only problem was that I would like show up in neon blue leggings and a Bill shirt that showed my nipples. <laughs> and like some meathead Bills fan would like wanna call me a fag, but then he'd see I was rooting for the same team as them and he wouldn't know what to do. It would just like blow his mind, you know? Um, and they would like uh, look at me like the, um, uh, same way that my stepdad looked at me when I came home in high school and told him that I had joined the track team. <laughs> um, it's that look that says like, hey, I'm, I'm happy that you're into sports, but did you have to do it in the gayest way possible? <laughs> uh, um, but like, uh, thankfully I didn't like stay at home in, uh, in, in Rochester, New York. When I was uh, uh, 21, I moved to Los Angeles um, where I fit in. Uh, because there's a lot of homeless people there. Uh, 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 like, I'm kidding, but it's actually, like, a very, very serious issue in Los Angeles. There's over, like, 70,000 70, housing insecure people in Los Angeles, right? It's, like, really, you know, a, a big deal, uh, a big issue. And uh, it got so bad that a few years ago, the Los Angeles mayor um, announced a $100 million plan to help the homeless. Like, wow, that's a lot of money, and I don't really know what his plan is, right? I just hope it's better than my plan to help the homeless, uh, which is just to offer them a cigarette and say, hey, it may not make your life any easier, but at least it'll be seven minutes shorter. <laughs> <laughs> wow. See, like, <laughs> I, uh, I make that joke um, because I smoke like uh, a pack of cigarettes a day, and I'm aware that I'm slowly killing myself. Uh, but at least I finally have a long-term goal. <laughs> uh, I'm kidding, but I'm also kind of not. Like, I love smoking cigarettes. Like, I smoke fucking a lot. Um, a lot of people hate cigarette smokers. Maybe not here in Georgia, but like in fucking New York, it's like $14 a pack in New York City. And there's like whole parts of town in Los Angeles where you can't even smoke in public. Like, you can't fucking smoke on the sidewalk. Um, it's like people hate smokers, right? But I love smoking cigarettes. Um, I'm never gonna quit smoking cigarettes. Um, because I smoke cigarettes for the same reason that I'm bisexual. Uh, and that's because I'm a white male who hates his own privilege. And the only way I can feel oppression is to occasionally put something gross in my mouth. <laughs> uh, all right, that's gonna be uh, all my time for jokes. I just wanna say, um, if you like what you've heard, you could uh, follow the Justice League of Queers on Facebook, or you could follow me on patreon.com slash mygams. Um, and if you like what you've seen, you can follow me on OnlyFans. Uh, <laughs> please talk to me after the show. Uh, all right, now make some noise for Patrick. Come on.